Hey guys, welcome to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be discussing how I felt after receiving my kidney transplant. It's been two whole weeks already and I still can't believe it. I wanna say thank you to everybody for all the love and support that you have been showing me throughout this process. And if you're new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe. You might know somebody that's dealing with a chronic illness just like I am. So go ahead and share that video with them as well too. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's start from the beginning when I first woke up. I was just so grateful to even wake up. I was terrified, I was scared, I was nervous, but I woke up, the Lord woke me up. So I was in so much pain, I can't even describe it to you. Um, I remember them taking me on a stretcher from one bed to the next, and all I can do was hold my side because the pain was so severe. They cut me from the side going down to um, like around my belly button area. Um, they didn't give me additional pain meds. So it was whatever I had in my system from the beginning of the surgery. So once I got to my room, then they gave me a little button that released the pain meds according to how I felt at the time. And I was so happy. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I was sleepy, I was drowsy, it, was, it knocked me out for real. So the next thing that I saw saw with my family and I was so relieved just to spend the time with them but I could barely talk because I was so tired and I was in so much pain but as time went um, the next day they had me get up and you know walk around and I didn't think I could do it they're like you know what just just do one thing just get to the couch so I was like okay I gotta get to this chair so I got to the chair I sat down when I sat up the incision was so painful. It had the liquid band-aid over it, so it kind of compressed it a little bit, I guess you can say, but it hurt so bad. I, I really can't describe the pain of this surgery. It was more the incision part than anything, because you gotta think about it. They cut you, not only do they, it cut through your muscles, it's cutting through everything. So that pain was just unbelievable. So the payments that they gave me was Percocet. They gave me something in the beginning, but I'm really not too sure what that was. But after it was Percocet, and that used to make me itch all the time. So I used to get Benadryl and that made me sleepy. So I was kind of all drugged up, I guess you can say. So I got through my first day with the pain, and I said, okay, I can do this. So the second day, the pain got a little bit easier, but I still had my button, so I was just pressing my button the whole time. And then I had to walk. Oh, I don't even know. I don't even know how I made it through that first walk. That first walk, my mom went with me, we went to go visit my brother in his room, and every step I felt. But I could understand why they wanted me to walk. They wanted me to walk because if I sit in the bed and I sulk, I mean, that's just depression right there. So I walked around, and then I did my victory walk with my brother. So just even lifting my hands to ring that bell was painful, but I was blessed and I was happy. And I'm like, you know what, a little bit of pain for a lifetime of greatness. I mean, you can't, you can't complain. So there's many people have done this. They're old people, young people, so I can handle this. So I did my walk with my mom and my brother and we did our victory walk. And then the next day, I was like, I thought I was a champ. Still have a pain meds though. Don't get it twisted, I still have a pain meds. So I thought I was a champ, I'm like yes. I'm moving, I didn't have to hold my husband as strong as I was the other day. But I was I was moving, I was shaking. I was, I was happy about the whole process. What did bother me a lot was when I was having spasms because I had a catheter, like I said in my previous video, but 
I still had these spasms and I was like peeing all the time and that hurt because I had to jump up out of the bed. So I had to like lift myself up out of the bed each time. So imagine having to pee back to back to back to back to back because I wasn't used to that because my kidneys wasn't functioning well. And so now I'm jumping out of the bed and I'm peeing and it hurts even as you pee because the pressure and then my side hurts and oh, it was, it, it was terrible. It was terrible but it was only for a couple of days. So I got past that. And when I, it was my time to go home, so I came home and everybody's on me, you gotta walk, you gotta walk. And I'm still walking. The more you walk, the better the pain gets. I have to say that. The more you walk, the better the pain gets. So I kept walking and you know, just trying. And then it got cold outside. So I started walking around the inside of my house instead of walking outside because I was afraid, I didn't want to get sick, you know, being on all these pills, I just, I didn't want to, I didn't want to deal with that. So I decided to just walk around my house, take it easy, walk up each step, and I hold on to my side if I needed to. So as you know, I have my family here, so they, they will help me, I couldn't lift anything, nothing more than a milk carton, and barely that I was doing. So my family really helped me in the lifting aspect of it, just so I don't strain myself. That was just like on a physical level. But mentally, in the beginning, I was so happy, I was so excited. But it was a lot of pressure, because everybody's now watching me, wanting to know like, you know, how I'm doing, calling my phone all the time, and it was just overwhelming. And so when I got home, maybe a day or two later, I completely had a mental breakdown. I mean, I was on the floor crying, I was in the shower crying, and no one knows this. this is the first time I've ever seen that. But it was just hard for me mentally because not only do I have my brother's kidney, so you know I gotta hear that every single day, but also it was just overwhelming, you know, to see, wow, where I was to where I am now. It was good feelings, it was bad feelings, it was, it was just everything, and I just broke down on that floor that day. And I'm so grateful to have a great support system. You know, I call my bestie and she helped me through that day. She helped me, she's a social worker, so who else better to call? And she helped me pick myself up off that ground, get my life together, and ever since then I've been pretty good mentally. So what also bothered me was my weight. That was the biggest thing because I had already lost so much weight. I had went down to 120, then now, being in the hospital going to 106 and getting home being 103, I was basically bones and I was hurting. And just looking at myself in the mirror every day was kind of depressing to me. So just to see on my collar, on my bones, you see everything, it really bothered me so much. So even the weight loss, I think dramatically just affected me mentally, but I know I'll gain some weight back soon. I went through week one, Everything is okay. This is week two. I feel so much better, guys. I just, I can't express that. I mean, I'm playing, I'm not running outside or doing anything like that. I don't have all my strength back, but I feel like I basically am right there. My son, I'm spending more time with them and I feel good and they feel good. We play a little, you know, basketball, not real basketball, play basketball with a little ball. And I just feel so, I feel great. I feel like the old crystal. My, I can pee normally again. Um, all my functions, no joint pains, none of that. All of that is gone at this moment. I feel awesome, guys. Now, if you have, know someone that wants to get a kidney transplant and they're just not too sure, get it. If somebody's willing to give it to you, take it. Because it is a drastic change in your life. I am beyond ecstatic right now. I smile when I wake up. This morning I read a book and I just laid down and then I got up and I said, you know, I need to talk to you guys and let you know how it feels to have your life back. Well, I just want to say thank you for watching my video today. If you know somebody that this video can help, please share it with them. All right, guys, see you next time.